welcome to the channel. Today I'll be discussing a megafauna from Pleistocene North America known as Anazion dyrus, also more commonly known as the dire wolf. Let's begin. Anazion dyrus is a member of the Canidae family that lived in Pleistocene North America from roughly 2.5 million years ago to 11,000 years ago. And despite its common name, the dire wolf, Anazion dyrus isn't a wolf or even closely related to a wolf for that matter. It was originally believed that the dire wolf was closely related to the gray wolf due to similar morphologies. However, in 2021, genetic paleontologists discovered that the dire wolf had a unique DNA profile. And this discovery points to the dire wolf most likely having the inability to interbreed with wolves, coyotes, and dogs. So this paleontologist proposed a reclassification of this massive Pleistocene North American carnivore. The dire wolf is bigger than any modern wolf species, with it being 20% bigger than that of even a gray wolf, which is the largest modern wolf species. That means that this massive member of the Canidae family could reach an average of 150 pounds. And in terms of body size, they were as large as the largest gray wolves. Anazion dyrus is a carnivore, and isotopic analysis confirmed that horses made up an important part of their diet. However, they also hunted animals such as ground sloths, bison, and camels, which made up a lesser part of their diet. Overall, they weren't prey specialists like the saber-toothed cats that lived alongside them during this time period. Dire wolves were social animals, living in large packs. Some evidence suggests that they hunted with up to 30 individuals. And there is evidence to suggest that dire wolves would take care of one another when an individual in their pack could not take care of themselves. This claim comes from the evidence found on dire wolf fossils where some individuals have sustained substantial amounts of damage to the point where they wouldn't have survived on their own and needed to be cared for. And this concludes the short introduction on Anazion Dyrus. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something new. Thanks for watching and until next time.